The Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Blow Dryer Brush is my bae, but it's damn near impossible to find online and in stores anymore. So color me intrigued when I saw this little beauty in the aisles of my local Target. It looks so similar to my Revlon One Step Blow Dryer Brush with its flat paddle head design. So I had to purchase it and test it out. But first, a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. In a time that feels so uncertain, you're juggling a million responsibilities and there's just a constant feeling of overwhelm, it's nice to know that there's an accessible and affordable solution right in your hand to find a professional therapist to speak to when you need it the most. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible, which is really comforting because the last thing you want to do when you're feeling overwhelmed or anxious is comb through tons of websites looking for a professional therapist that might align with your needs. BetterHelp is a platform that makes it so much easier to find a therapist to talk to in your time of need. The platform will ask you a few questions to get to know exactly how you're feeling and what you're specifically looking for in a professional. Then it matches you to your professional therapist in as little as a few days. It's so simple to sign up and get matched with the exact therapist that you're looking for. Just click the link in my description box. It's betterhelp.com slash 85 and you'll get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. Using that link in my description box helps to support my channel, but most importantly, it gets you in touch with someone to speak to when you're needing it the most. So if you're struggling, you're not alone. Consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in my description box to visit betterhelp.com slash 85 to get started today. Thank you again to BetterHelp for supporting my channel. Let's see if the not doctor by Conair Infinity Pro is as good as the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. Right off the bat, I'm sus because the paddle head is small, the bristles are small, and close together, and those airflow holes are much smaller as well. They both have a low, medium, and high button, but the Knot Doctor has a bonus Cool Shot button, so that's nice. As you can see here, the Revlon One Step Blow Dry Brush is much bigger in size. We're gonna see if that makes any difference as I'm using it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my heat protectant. Don't forget to do that, especially when testing new heat tools that you have never used before. You never know how hot they might get. I'm gonna blow dry the first side using my trusty Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler Brush to get the feel for it. With the Revlon brush, I'm able to blow dry small to medium sections successfully and easily. There's minimal hair pulling, although keep in mind that I always detangle my hair before blow drying. Blow dryer brushes are for blow drying and not for detangling. If you're gonna use blow dryer brushes to detangle, you're gonna lose a lot of hair. So always detangle with your detangling brush prior to using these types of brushes. But with all that said, the Revlon brush does tend to yank on and pull out a few strands of hair if I'm not extra careful, but it's not too bad. So we're gonna give the Knot Doctor a try on the other side, adding my heat protectant to my pre-detangled sections. And I'm gonna use this exactly like I did the Revlon brush. I always start on high first to blast the hair dry. And then once it's halfway done, I'll switch to the medium setting to finish it off. It's working pretty well. It dries pretty quickly and my hair looks pretty smooth. Now, because the brush head is smaller, I did find that I had to use smaller sections. Otherwise my hair didn't dry as easily or as quickly. I also noticed that in order to get smooth results with fewer passes, I always had to keep the setting on high. Whereas with the Revlon One Step Blow Dry Brush, I could stop using the high setting midway and switch to medium low, which was helpful to reduce heat damage. With the Knot Doctor, I needed it to be on high the entire time to get less frizzing. Also, the head of the brush gets pretty hot, so be careful with that. Because the bristles are closer together, I did experience more strands being pulled out during use, but it wasn't horrific, it's just something to keep in mind. Overall, I think the Knot Doctor performed well, and it absolutely was comparable to the Revlon Blow Dry Brush. Although I do feel like the Revlon One Step Blow Dryer Brush was able to get my hair smoother than the Knot Doctor, as you can see here with the side-by-side -side comparison, but that was only by a tiny amount, the difference is truly negligible. And I never use this blow dry for super sleek silk press results anyway, I'm usually using this to stretch my hair for a twist out, so it's really not that important. And the Knot Doctor was also more lightweight to hold, so there's that. So it's great news for anyone who was interested in the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer Blow Dryer Brush. I know that it's really hard to find online and impossible to get in stores these days. So if you can't get your hands on one and you happen to cross paths with its slightly smaller cousin, the Knot Doctor, I can recommend picking it up because it was very easy to use and gave me great blow dried and stretched results. You'll just need to be a little bit more patient and use smaller sections when you're using the Knot Doctor. So that's it guys, I hope this review was helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.